Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a sweet boy. But Alex, you're right back where you started. I know. Oh, you don't know anything, Alex. You don't even know you're not really here. What the fuck? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Um, Alex Chen? My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Huh. Is that what I look like? Really? I guess that's me. Case number 53322. down a... what? Dr. Wynn always recorded our... <laughs> records our sessions. These don't belong to Dr. Lin. Uh, 
tuning peg. Is that what I look like? Really? Alex. Gabe? <gasps> You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely hospital. <laughs> Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. 
Play your part. Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom? Are you okay? Hush now. It's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... There it is. A painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. Don't you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? She knew. Even then, she knew. No matter how much Mom drank. Her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. She's just on the other side. Gabe told me it was full of needles. So we spent so much time in here that I basically couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. How many nights did Dad spend in this room? Is there something so weird and scary about Mom? What am I missing? What did we talk about? Hi, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. You almost never cried, even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. 
you keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. That's not how it went down, right? my job to keep the peace, but no matter what I did, Hey Gabe, I'm Leslie Halloran. I'm from the Oregon State Child Protective Services. We got a call from someone who said there might have been some kind of fight here last night. Is your dad home? Oh, gosh. You know what? We were... Yeah, that, that was like, um... Uh, rehearsal. And I'm in this play at school. And my dad, like, he was, um... Helping me learn my lines. Must be some play. But if you need anything, my number is on there. Okay? Gabe did his best to protect us. But he was just a kid. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't have almost empty. Almost always. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like, we never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. My job was to sort them in order of how close they were to a collections noted. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a... I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right.
All right. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, dad lost his job again. So we're broke again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay, we'll figure it out. I could, um. I don't know, dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records, or or what about my guitar? We can sell that. Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about mom. Babe, <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <laughs> <gasps> Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really. I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. Dad. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. <laughs> you need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have, and now I'm done. Almost, but not yet. You are 12, I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. 
You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Play my part. I don't understand. Why can't I have my guitar? We've been over this, Alex. Your guitar stays in the rec room. You can play it during free time. That's bullshit! I don't need it in the fucking rec room! I need it when I'm stuck in the fucking dorms! Alex, that's enough. Maybe we'll just take away your guitar privileges entirely, if that's what you prefer. You can't do that! How are you holding up, Shu? I can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. I guess I missed a few days. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were a friend at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kinda think you already know the answer to that. so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I wonder why she's never found a home before. She's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights. Right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something off, broken, wrong with her. Sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You can keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. 
You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. way out of here. Mines growing into mines, just like Jed said. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this stuff been down here? No, 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 come on, no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this.
That aura is the only lead I've got. Getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Hot damn right. This is it. This is what Tuffin tried to bury. A lot of runoff moisture in the soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Boom! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We gotta move! There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jet. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. You gotta stop, man. Jen! Fuck you, Jen! Come back! It's over, Jen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And, during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop, run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. 
It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jelukin isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. So they decided to bury the evidence and nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. Try me. These accusations are... Well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and... make your life seem less unfair. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. 
Dad? Do you have any idea what Alice is talking about? No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know, I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Please. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger. But over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible. But she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart. You know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is our fault. It's so hard to admit you need help. But struggling alone... No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. There's something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. Sorry. How about you? I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. Alex, just... just give it up. You coward. <clears throat> Believe me, right? Ryan? Why are you doing this? My dad is not a murderer. 
Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. And me. I thought you cared about me. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. The world never gave a shit about him. He was always struggling just to get by. He still hoped one day things would be better. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. I even changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I'm starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. A few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see?
Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And then you gave your soul to Typhon. You let them tell you how awful it would be for your wife and son to find out. You let them tell you that Haven was more important than the men who died. When it really mattered who you were and what you stood for, you let Typhon decide for you. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. And I forgive you. coming in on Typhon Mining scandal that has rocked the western sloop town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Ched Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right... Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to rooftop. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen? Chen. And no. But I. I'm a hard worker. And I learn fast. And I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait.
I've got some continued support for you. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. It never ends. I'm so sorry I worried you all. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that, but it's pretty funny. I'll treasure it too, Ryan. Enjoy the I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Just dropped a block of alabaster. On purpose. Because I wouldn't stop digging. Wow. Typhon officially cleared the best job I've ever had. So many memories. I'm glad I was able to help but I think I'll pass on the kisses. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Haven has an indie movie theater. I feel sick. This air was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. I've been playing a lot the last two days. Trying. 
trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed, or Gabe, or Haven, and wanting to move on from the pain, but not knowing how. Most of all, what I don't think about is me. Because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So, I just keep playing. So sorry. I know. What you said, the truth about my dad, I, I couldn't accept it. Maybe I wasn't strong enough. After everything he did, you still forgave him. I didn't know it was possible to be that strong. And it gives me hope that maybe one day I can be that strong too. Thank you, Ryan. That means a lot. What about us? Do you think you could ever forgive me for what I did? I already do. You faced something horrible. And for a moment, you turned away. I should have known. Maybe deep down I did, but I just couldn't accept it. But it's out now. And as horrible as it is, we don't have to face it alone. We have each other. So, what's next for Alex Chen? I guess I'm asking because I'm in. I mean, whether it's here or anywhere else, if you want me, I'm there. That's really sweet, Ryan. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'm not used to getting to decide what I want. I guess I'd better think about it. I guess so. You know where to find me. Just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Ryan made a strong case for why I should stay in Haven. 
The idea of making this place my home. It seemed nice. Of course, that was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on, you're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job. And despite what happened at the vote, people that actually care about you. Why would you give that up? That's true. <sighs> then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. I'm sorry. I know. Hear something. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. Ryan approves. Life goes on. You go back to work, you settle into a routine. And one day, with almost no warning, Steph up and bolts town. It hurts. But she does offer you a going away present. Her job, you take it. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me begin to fade into the background.
The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world, Or maybe you never think about that much at all. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it. You don't doubt it. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So? What do you think? I know what I want.
I know what I want. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen.